Gladstone secondary students say they had no idea that some of their classrooms in their East Vancouver school might be used for adult education classes. It's something the Vancouver School Board has proposed to save $600,000 a year, and students are worried. As soon as they're in the building, they're considered students, so we can't differentiate from that. We can't differentiate them from an adult who can pose a risk to us to just a student at the adult ed program. This program is intended for people who may have may, may not have made difficult choices in their life and cannot finish high school through normal means. Sure, most of those students may be good students. I mean, if they're coming back to get their education, but we don't know that for they sure. They can't guarantee that. And, and they're not doing a criminal check. The students say they only learned a week or two ago that this wing, the B wing, could house classes for adults during the day, while 13 to 18 year olds are also in school. The school was chosen because it has space and because of its proximity to SkyTrain. This is a proposal only. It hasn't been approved by the board and staff have recommended this as a possible new location for the adult education centre that's currently located on Terminal, uh, near, near Main and Terminal. That has in a lease space that has been there for several years. It's not a great space and it is fairly extensive. Students say they don't think the proposal will work and the questions they have asked so far have not been answered. The school board says precedent has been set elsewhere and the results have been positive. And we've had a really strong record. We have um, an adult ed center right now at Lord Roberts in an elementary school side by side with elementary classes and I haven't heard any concerns there. We also have an adult education site at the Britannia School site. There's an adult ed center there, there's a high school and an elementary school. Again, by all accounts, very successful. When are they going to start listening to us? When are they going to start taking us seriously? Because right now, we are not being taken seriously. After Tuesday, there's actually no plan for any more di dialogue between us and the school board. After that, it's purely on them. The students have started a petition and are gearing up for planned meetings on Tuesday. Darlene Heideman, Global News.